Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live in. Pete Maravich, Nate Thurman, Bob Lanier, Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, Earl Monroe, Clyde Drexler, Oscar Robertson, Moses Malone, Julius Servan, Wilt Chamberlain, Shaquille O'Neal, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the Kembe Matumbo. What do those 14 players have in common? Well, they are the 14 players that have their jersey retired by multiple teams. And a guy like Michael Jordan had it retired by the Bulls and the Heat. Uh, he never played for the Heat. So, uh, it, it's been a very exclusive list of guys. Well, there is one active player who eventually would like to see his name uh, appear on that list as well. And that is current Clippers player, although he's about to be a free agent if he declines his player option as expected. Paul George, this is on his podcast P-Show via Law Murray's X page. Via, uh, he's from The Athletic. Paul George shared his hope that his jersey would be retired by Pacers and Clippers, acknowledging that it's a franchise decision, while Annie Mae doesn't think he was... Uh, let's just listen. Man, that's a great feeling, man. And, and that's Zebo, by the way. He's going to have his... When he get done playing, he's going to have his jersey up a couple spots. Yeah, so that's uh, Zach Grandolf talking. Um, he is... I, Either is or had his jersey retired by the Memphis Grizzlies. Damn, shit, I hope. You deserve it. I hope. For sure. I Damn hope, man. It. Hell yeah. Yeah. No, we. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's in the team's, you know, hands. But, man, I hope, you know, I hope I, I paved the way or if I, you know, did enough to kind of inspire, uplift, you know, that era of the time that I was there, you know, whether it's in Indiana, whether it was in uh la i don't think my stint was long enough in oklahoma um but you know hopefully in those two other places man, oh shit, i gotta they, do you in indiana i'm I'll make sure i'm be there man <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. i might get booed like, i might nah. be the first player to get booed nah. <laughs> <laughs> they put you up booing huh nah, they they love they gonna boo you. Nah, they they love you. Mm. all right so zach randolph actually brought it up that um, you know, George will, will eventually or should eventually get his jersey retired by multiple teams. Uh, if we take a look at his numbers. So he played for seven seasons with the Pacers, then two with the Thunder, five with the Clippers. Now he's correct. He did not play with the Clippers long enough, although his best season did come with the Thunder, that 2018-19 season where he put a career high in scoring average. Career, um, sorry, uh, led the league in steals. Uh, career best third place MVP finish. Career best third place defensive player of the year finish. Uh, but again, just two seasons with the team. Now with the Pacers... His first four seasons, he was 24. Then he switched his jersey number to 13, thus the PG-13 nickname. I um, actually saw a meme about how player nicknames are lazy nowadays. Um, that's kind of part of it right there. But anyhow, um, his first season with that number only played six games, had that gruesome leg injury. So really just two full seasons with 13, four with 24. Uh, and his first two seasons... Wasn't really an all-star level player. Uh, then we look at the Clippers. So he's made three all-star teams with the team. This past season played um, his career high, well, sorry, team high with the Clippers, 74 games. Um, never had played more than 56 prior to that. They did make one conference finals, uh, but were not able to advance to the NBA finals. So... Um, all in all, 263 games. I actually did a video, I don't know, maybe a little over a week ago about how Blake Griffin mentioned he wants to be the first Clipper. Well, he, he's not sure, but he could be the first Clippers player to have his jersey retired by the team. Um, they do not have a player with a jersey retired yet. Um, so Paul George also wants his name there. Obviously not now while he's still playing, uh, but what are your thoughts? Will Paul George have his jersey retired by two different teams? Obviously, he would not have two numbers retired by the Pacers. He's not Kobe Bryant. But um, I don't know which one they would choose, to be honest with you. 
again, longer with 24, uh, but probably his two best seasons with the Pacers came as 13. Um, and also, I, they probably should retire Jermaine O'Neal's number first. Um, he does not have his jersey retired, and he made, what, I think six All-Star teams, something like that, with the Pacers. For me, also, I think if he were to leave the Clippers this season, I personally don't. I don't think he's done enough in order to have his jersey retired by the Clippers. Even a franchise like the Clippers that have had very little success. Um, you know, I think a couple more seasons would solidify that. Of course, there's no method to decide whether a player should have his jersey retired. Um, you know, that's completely on the team. But that that's just my opinion. But again, let me know. Should he have his jersey retired by two different teams and join that exclusive list I said in the beginning of players who have had their jersey retired by at least two teams? Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications.